Okay, this is Mike Soares with Ceresi Guitars. Uh, we're a small guitar shop in New York. Uh, we've been making, building, and repairing guitars for over 50 years now. We've been building custom tenor guitars for 30 years. And uh, every now and then we get somebody looking for a uh, five string tenor. And uh, not a lot. But uh, we decided uh, last year that we would try to build a couple. Uh, so we uh, we have the wood and the necks to build uh, three right now. This is one of the three. And we actually built this one because when we started looking up five-string tenors, we didn't find a lot of information. We are finding a lot on five-string blues guitars. And uh, we saw a couple of ads, uh, recent ads, uh, Keith Richards. Uh, explaining how he plays five string, and he just they just did a new Stones album where he has this custom five string made up for himself. Uh, so we decided to do the one, the first one as a blues guitar, and uh, this one is tuned a G, D, G, B, D. As you can hear, this is a full acoustic. It's not a semi-acoustic. There's no tone bar in this. There's no sound post going to the back. There's no bridge brace on this here. There's two old school braces like you find on a violin or a cello running up each side. So you've got a bass brace and a treble brace on this here. But nothing going from the top to the back. Uh, on this here. So this is a full acoustic. We're just set up with the pickup, but it is a full acoustic guitar. Uh, careful lining inside, all old school. We try to go as old school as we can. Uh, this is a three inch deep arch top body. Now this is a uh, based on a Gibson ES140, which is a three quarter size guitar, which we also found out that is very prized by a, a lot of blues players. The uh, the ES140 with a, with a short scale. Uh, this is a mahogany plywood back. Uh, you have your tortoise binding. Again, this is uh, a cellulose binding. We only use cellulose binding on our guitars. We only use that thin, cheap, uh, almost uh, like tape on here. This is a nice, thick cellulose binding on here and in the back of the top is in a, a black white black white with the tortoise again it's the thicker tortoise uh, we have a uh, larger end pin on here for your strap uh, we make our own uh, jack ex extensions standard quarter inch jack uh, now this is made so a three quarter inch hole under here so if you have a problem with your jack it either loosens up or you break it or something, uh, metal fatigue from the little flap, plugging it in and plugging it out. Uh, two screws, this whole thing pulls out and you can work on your jack, replace your jack, you don't have to fish into your guitar. Okay, that's one thing that we've been doing recently. Another upgrade that we started doing about a year and a half ago, two years ago, is now we're cutting a hole into the top. This is your tone and your volume and this plate comes off there's an oval hole underneath here and you could lift out your tone and your volume so if you need to clean out your volume pot because it's making too much static or the pot goes or you want to change this to the value of the pot or you want to add a bleeder you can just take out these two screws this whole plate comes off you can service your volume and your tone on this guitar okay so you don't have to fish through your F holes and put wires inside or fishing line and then pull them out and through. Uh, no big hassle. Uh, what would normally take a loop with an hour and a half, two hours to do. If you didn't have this plate, you can do in five minutes. Okay, now and these knobs, these are amber to uh, a brown, a, a uh, tobacco brown knobs. These are a copy of a 19. 30s radio knob that we cast. We made rubber molds of the 30s uh, knob and we recast them in a uh, acrylic and the amber to a uh, brown. 
Okay, and again you have your tortoise plate here. Tortoise, uh, it's a black, white, black. Again, with the heavy cellulose tortoise on your F holes. Your F holes are fully bound. Uh, and uh, going down here to about your stop bar, your hanger. And this is standard casino uh, Gibson style hanger. And what we do on this here is we take a Les Paul stop bar from a seven string guitar. So you got seven holes. We cut the ears off here and here, polish the ends up, and we drill out the first and seventh string for your hanger, and you got a nice five string tail. It looks proper, works great, and that's how we do our tails. Uh, on your bridge, uh, same thing on your bridge here. Now what we do here is a seven string bridge. We eliminate your first and your seventh uh, Saddle. Now, this is a type of bridge that had the larger holes on it because this was a deck mount for a solid body guitar like a Les Paul. And so, what we did was we converted this to a floating bridge. Okay, we had bushings on each side so that you can have your thinner threaded rods in the bridge, keep it centered. And you're fully adjustable up and down, and you have your all your saddles are individually adjustable for intonation and we have a uh, we make a little rosewood uh, base for that and again this is fully adjustable you can move this bridge this is a floating bridge move it right to left up and down and you can get your intonation right on cue uh, we make our own uh, pick guards again in the tortoise uh, our surrounds on our pickup are in the tortoise and we also have, this is a custom humbucker pickup that we use on here, uh, where the original 140s used a uh, P90. This is a nice custom-made humbucker. It has a little more bottom end. It's a vintage wound humbucker. Give you a nice bottom end because uh, we use it on our tenors. And uh, most tenor players like that little more of that bottom end, not that tinny high. And again, we also custom build our tone control to give you a bottom end. Okay, so uh, that's our basic body. Oh, and this is a, again a full acoustic spruce top, plywood sides, plywood back, solid spruce top that has a lining. The lining is to prevent it from cracking around your openings, around your edges. Okay, but this is a solid spruce top, and again, it is a full acoustic. <laughs> nice ringing tone okay and then let's go into your neck here your neck here is what we call a volute neck as your little volute back on here extra deep V back neck nice strong neck like a 1930s style uh, Gibson on here before they had press rods they had the V back volute neck so you got a very nice strong neck on here and then this is a bolt on neck so you can adjust it uh, again with your tortoise shell binding on the head and on your neck and you have your side dot markers here the little white ones you could put bigger ones if you wanted bigger ones with like a little white dots there now on your fret markers we did go with the tenth fret marker that we generally use on a tenor guitar on the shorter scale guitars. I'm not sure what they do on a lot of the, I think on a lot of blues guitars they do with the ninth fret, but this is the ninth fret, the tenth fret marker on here. And these are in a uh, off-white, a, a cream color. And uh, um, here you have a bow nut on here. Again, five string. We used a five string ready-made bass nut on here. Worked out just fine. Uh, we make our own truss rod covers. You can see you have a two-way adjustable truss rod on here. It's like a fender style truss rod, not a Gibson. It's a two-way fender style truss rod uh, on here. And we make our own decal. Uh, again, on the top, let's go back to the top here. This top is actually what we call a, a uh, an antique top. Okay, we stain the top, the spruce, we wash the stain off with it, like a lacquer thinner, and it leaves darker and lighter spots here and there. 
but it makes the guitar look like it's 40, 50 years old. But uh, except for the finish, which is perfect on the top. So we do this as a, uh, what we call an antique violin finish on it. Okay, and we did the same thing with our decal. Uh, we let it bleed out a little bit to give it more of an aged look, uh, kind of like an old timey. Again, fully bound. Uh, these are Gibson style uh, tuners. These are uh, oh, I forget the name of it. But uh, okay, uh, they're middle grade, uh, West something on here. They're the Korean uh, tuners. They're not the Chinese cheaper tuners on here. Okay, and again, fully adjustable truss rod, truss rod cover, uh, a little bit better tuners. And uh, this has a Puro Furo. It looks like it's ebony, but it's actually a Puro Furo uh, fingerboard because we sent a lot of guitars to the UK and uh, we like using the Puro Furo and again V-back neck uh, we didn't put a strap holder up over here because uh, some people like it over here some people like the strap holder over on the back of the neck here some people like to put it just right onto the neck other people like to just tie the uh, the old school way of tying the uh, strap to the top uh, above the neck, the nut with a uh, shoelace. Uh, we have a, uh, this is a 10 watt SX amp that we keep in the shop. I have it here, it's been over 30 years now since we've been using this amp. It's here, a little, I have a little 60 cycle hum on here. As soon as you plug it in, nice quiet. It's volume control. Again, if your volume control gets a little staticky, you just pop it open with a little electric spray. But pop it back on. You don't have to bring it somewhere to have somebody do it for you. And that's uh, full tone again. See the bottom end. Nice deep bottom end. Great sustain down on the neck. Now I'm left-handed. I don't play blues tuning, what they call open G. I believe that's the right tuning for uh, blues playing, but again, this is a very nice, well-built guitar. And, uh, that's about it. Uh, if you have any questions, please ask. Uh, we were only making three. Uh, we actually built one. This one, we built this one, we made a video and we posted it on Facebook for the uh, blues players and apparently we got knocked off because we're an electric we have the pickup on it, even though it's a full acoustic uh, they don't like electrics, they, they knocked us off I was putting it on there not to sell it I was putting it on there to get some input on it as we were building it and uh, they kept the knocking my video off so uh, have any questions or anything you'd like to add any comments on it I'd appreciate it again this is our first one we've, again, we've been custom building guitars for uh, really for 30 years uh, basic repair for over 50 years and uh, this is uh, one of three that we're offering right now again this is Mike Soares this is Racy Guitars uh, again the size on this here just to mention a 13 inch lower bow, 3 inch deep on here and uh, again it's a third, it's a three quarter size guitar so it's a nice small guitar and it's a little over 36 inches long on here and that's about it again thank you